Today I'm going to introduce to you the shock absorber for the Honda Rebel. It's model number H0718. It's a gas-filled pressurized shock absorber with a piggyback type reservoir. Let's have a look. Okay, this is the shock absorber reservoir. We call this piggyback because it's on the back. Adjustable compression and rebound. And adjustable preload on the spring. Okay, now I'm going to introduce to you Olin's shock absorber for the Honda Rebel 500. The model number is HO728. It's um, gas pressurized. It has a dividing piston in the top to keep the oil separate from the gas. And it has a preload adjuster. And it also is adjustable for rebound. Okay, now I'm going to introduce you Olin's uh, front fork spring kit for the Rebel 500. The model is FSK127 and open the box. It contains basically a high performance linear spring and spring spacer. Uh, top caps with adjustable preload, preload adjuster here. And also we recommend that we change to a different oil and the model number of this oil is 01316. Hello, good day. My name is Nicholas Winthrop. I'm Olin's technical specialist and race support engineer for Olin's Asia. Uh, this is my assistant, Kunkate. Uh, today we're going to show you how to install the Olin's front fork spring kit and rear shock to the Honda Rebel 500. Okay, very simple to install the shock absorber on this model. The rear wheel is off the ground, slightly, and then we just loosen the top bolt, which is a 5mm hex key, and the bottom one, which is 6mm, and remove the shock absorber. And we simply fit the Olin's product in place of the original. So, okay, that's all there is to it. Very simple. Change the original to the Olin's product. The rear wheel is off the ground, slightly, and these two set screws. It's four millimeter Allen key at the top and a five millimeter at the bottom. Simply loosen the screws and remove the shock absorber. Then fit the original one. Make sure you have the Olin sticker facing the rear of the motorcycle. That's the correct way. And simply refit the two set screws, top and bottom, and tighten them to the Honda's, Honda's recommended torque setting, which you can find in the workshop manual. Okay, that's it. Very simple exchange. Um, you will find a big increase in performance with this type of shock absorber over the original equipment.
Now we're going to continue with fitting the front fork kit. The Olin's product have a top cap with an adjuster, adjustable preload. It also it has an aluminium spacer, one spacer, and the spring. Now the springs are very different. Oh, okay. So. Okay, looking here, right? The spring. You can see this one, the original Honda spring. The coils are very close. And open here, close here. This is called progressive spring, which means that the initial spring force is soft, much softer, and then it gets harder. Whereas Olin's, we nearly always use a linear spring, which means the spring rate doesn't change. This is a linear spring, and this will give a slightly harder ride over very small bumps, but it will also give much better control of the front suspension and geometry of the bike, so that the bike will handle much better with this type of linear spring. With the, with the old spring removed already, the oil drained, there's no oil inside, we just drain it out and we're going to replace the oil with the Olin's, which is the 01316. Okay, and there's the level, which is 180. And measure, look inside the tube and measure the, the oil. When you can see it touch the end of the tape measure, and it's 180 millimeters to the top, that's the correct oil level, yeah? fit the top cap. Very important to put some grease on this o-ring. Four from the from the top of the edge of the top cap to the fork yoke is eight millimeters, okay? We just have to double check that all the fasteners, the hardware, everything is tight. Be careful to check everything carefully. Squeeze the brake a few times. We reposition the brake pad and sit on the bike. The first check will be just to operate the forks. Make sure everything's smooth, yeah? And then take the bike for a test ride. If you feel the suspension too soft, you have an adjustment, preload, and enjoy riding the bike.